that's a, that's a big help to provide service to our kids and I think that's why I wouldn't be there. Next street uh, that's under construction is Fifth Street Milling and Resurfacing and Drainage Improvements. Um, the scope of the project is Milling and Resurfacing from US 90 to Old Bonnety. With, uh, and the main thing on this project I want to talk about is um, as the county commissioners are well aware, where is the city is where Old Bonnety and Fifth Street floods. Every time it rains hard, it floods there. So we're making some improvements there that hopefully will be a good start um, and that's up in this area a good start to uh, to correct in that flooding issue um, this is one of our uh, this is a scott project funded by dot um, this is one of our alternate routes at 77 if we have work on it or it goes down this street is one of the main corridors that we're going to use uh, to get traffic through and around town um, we're also up here in the green area. The, um, this green section right here is additional piping that the city is doing. Uh, we're also having to relocate all of our utilities in that intersection. Um, we're looking at um, probably, let's see, let me go back on the slide. Total projects, $407,682. Um, this city funds alone is it's actually 42,000, that's an error right there, uh, that we're putting into the project. So, uh, great benefit for a little bit of money that we put into it. I'm sorry. Uh, is that the turning lanes that you've got there, like at CBS and is that? That's not this project. Okay. This, this is uh, this is this street from, from uh, US 90 to Old Bonnet <coughs> Road. So. That's another project uh, that you're talking about. Uh, phase two uh, is a project that's uh, we've just awarded design on that. That will pick up um, and and do the segment from 92 South Boulevard. Um, so and the drainage improvements also of course added um, that uh, sorry, that will be. in this area um, and flooding at the park sometimes and uh, so that drainage needs to upgrade as we're doing this. We're also doing some curbing uh, that needs replaced and sidewalk replacement in, in a few areas on that project as well. And that's phase two. It's in the design phase now and that's a SCOP project as well. SCOP is and they just, uh, the state just started offering that program to municipalities. Uh, it's been offered to the counties for a number of years, but I think uh, that started in the municipalities three years ago. Great program, it's, it's state money, the federal requirements are not required, so it's much easier um, um, to be able to get uh, work done. Next project we've applied for for Scott funding is West Boulevard, um, the county, the city, school board all went in, did Port Street, uh, which connects uh, the school and surrounds the new school. West Boulevard is the next road that needs to be done. It's coming apart, and there's just an awful lot of traffic with the, with the new school, um, along with the, uh, the technical college there. There's a lot of traffic down that road, and it, that really needs to be uh, done. So we've applied for that. We have not received uh, award on that. I'm yeah, not to interrupt you, we did start a traffic study on that. Do any of y'all recall the number that this floated out? Yeah. 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 It's just kind of well over. Four thousand. He's almost out of four hundred. Forty four hundred. Forty four hundred a day. Oh yeah, that's tremendous. On South Boulevard. Yeah. On past the school. On past the school zone. And there's the project right there. Uh, you can see the, the, the technical college here. There's the old case man that Joe was referring to. West Boulevard City Hall and the library is over here. Um, so that's Fort Street that was done this past uh, we, year. Included in this, is this the side the sidewalk project or is that? This is not sidewalk. Uh, now, now the county has applied for 
and it's through a lap fund the project. We could have looked at that. Would be it. And that's South Boulevard all the way from uh, State Road 77 to the all the way out to the school. So um, the interconnectivity of the sidewalk, so that's, that's going to make a big difference. So. Uh, this street drainage improvements. Uh, so the project on this is $279,000, uh, a little bit more. Uh, the city, we've had a couple of houses right here that's flooded um, or come close to flooding in the past. Um, there is a house right at that. The houses that have come close to flooding are these right up here. We were able to purchase this property. Um, for 36,000, I believe, which is a house. Um, I'm not sure what the acreage on that. Our intent on that project was to build a retention, stormwater retention line. Just because of the amount of stormwater that we're getting off 77 and that, um, that uh, drainage basin there. Um, several years ago, you really can't see it on this image, but right there, <coughs> is we call it the door home pump. It's a it's a project that uh, Mr. Gore, Mr. and Ms. Gore own. The county used FEMA funding to build a home pond there. That helped tremendously the flooding at South Boulevard. South Boulevard used to, used to flood every time of rain. Now they've done other drainage um, the county's done other drainage improvements that have helped that. That pond alone significantly help that project and we're putting you know through DOT looking at it through the city looking at the county and all we feel like this will uh, continue to help that issue of, of flood in that area. Our right, existing reclaimed water um, 1.5 million um, in that SDP budget. Um, it's where we're at in that project is our engineers, and that's Mike McDonald, are prepared for facilities plan. That's underway. That's identifying the methods that the city is going to get rid of our reclaimed water. Um, it's also trying to identify property. Um, some of the, just looking at this as an overall, you see the city of Chipley. Um, we've got the industrial park spray field that's out on County Road 273. The Davidson property that's on Highway 277. And the whole pile of golf course is an additional spray field. We're looking for additional lands. Um, the, the, uh, the engineers have looked at um, 50 plus lands in American County to 20 uh, such properties that we're trying to uh, see if we can purchase or if they're willing to lease it. Um, some of the challenges we're facing with identifying site is with our limited feasibility readings and disposal alternatives for the types of soils, the types of the hydrology, the hydrology that gives the topography challenges, we're in a play area. Um, the drainage is not good. That causes a, an issue in identifying a spot. Um, and, and it really um, makes you do one of two options and, and get rid of your reclaimed water. It's either uh, subsurface drip irrigation and or spray field. If you're on um, flat hands, uh, spray irrigation works works good. Uh, if you're not, it doesn't. Um, you have watershed and that's been an issue in the past. Um, so we're trying to we're trying to mitigate some of those issues at the same time we're trying to um, find additional lands so that we can um, so that we can grow and you know, we're trying to and i'll get into that slide in a minute um, but we're trying to grow the seed our truth plan is a 1.2 million gallon plant however we're only permitted for 0.76 mgd um, so that's regulated only because we don't have enough areas to get rid of the refining so that's one reason we're, we're looking for it as well. Um, getting into this project, how is the 77 I 10 utilities extension project? We've got a lot of different budget sources there. There's DEP, legislative appropriation, there's the uh, Petroleum Restoration Fund, 
and water management business. Uh, this project includes a 16 inch uh, oval water well that's been uh, built approximately 2.2 miles, 2 .2 miles south of, of, uh, of town at last 10 on Sunday Road 77. That includes laid 12 inch water mains back to the city's existing um, system. It includes uh, gravity sewer, sanitary sewer mains, lift station, and water storage tower. The uh, school board has worked well with us and have donated a piece of property to put that storage tower. So thank y'all for that. Uh, that's some of the working together that, that, that we're talking about that is helping make this uh, possible. Um, just to show y'all a little bit about, and, and to tell y'all a little bit about how this occurs and, and uh, the ability to do something. Uh, I looked at a map the other day, uh, there's an old set of plans that had utilities extended south of the I think the data was 1983. So we're 34 year, years later, just now being able to do it. It's an expensive venture in, in doing this. But there are several things that's made this possible. Uh, one of the things that, if you notice the Blackburn well and the sea well that are being, uh, to be abandoned, that's right here and right here. The reason for that is because the gas stations that are downtown, um, the um, petroleum contamination is not in our water system. However, there has been cleanup. There's two or three clean speed leaks. He might be able to better. But there's been three cleanups in that area downtown. And what happens is contamination just migrates back into the, uh, because what they do is dig up the soil, remove it, put new soil in there, and it's just acting as a weed and just bring the contamination back in. Well, they were going to continue doing plant projects, so um, I got that. I tell you what happened. I found out that Pensacola was able to relocate away. So that was my pitch to DP was we can spend you know three hundred thousand dollars per cleanup, or we can mitigate the, the hazard completely and let's move the well system um, and get out of there. They bought off on that. So that's where the funding came in. Um, at the same time, we're trying to develop south of I-10. Uh, some of the requirements was we had to be at least one mile outside of any known petroleum contaminated site or site that had a tank on it at one time or another. Well, one mile, is, is, you see where we're at, we're 2.2 miles south of the interstate. That's one of the reasons we're so far out. The other reasons is our hydrologist and, uh, and our, um, some of the well experts in this area said that's a great place. We've dug a test well out there. It's a good producer of water, uh, good clean water. So um, that's one of the ways we were able to get it. Um, this project, uh, along with the abandonment, is a new storage tower that uh, will go in the school property. It'll go in that back corner, back uh, close to the, uh, what do y'all call that, the lab? You know, a block. A block, okay. And, and then we've got um, water lines connected back into the system as well. Um, this is, uh, let me do it a little bit. This is a sanitary sewer effort. Um, this is south of I 10. We have a lift station that goes in right here, which is really the lowest area from I 10 to State Park Road. It's, it's, it's in the bottom, it's, uh, the lowest level it can be. That will allow us to serve that entire area at least out of State Park Road and probably a little bit more, as well as back to the interstate. Uh, we've got a crossing right there at Blue Pond. Um, close to the restrooms and all um, at the facility there at the park. Um, that'll include a lift station, eight inch sewer mains, um, and a force main pumping. And it doesn't show on this project. One of the things that we had difficulty with and we were able to budget and use city funds as well, 
was to bypass the Walmart legislation with our force name because it's really overloaded. It, it's, it's loaded to the max. So, um, so that's a big push and, and, and a good thing that we were able to do with um, this project. Let's see. Am I missing something? Thank you. 